This episode is not sponsored by uh, Gold Bears by Harry Bow. There you go, you think I'm lying. Oh, look, special BBC TV filter there, look, see. That's how they do the uh, sunsets on top here. Also, the second best cheese and onion crisps. I can't get Smith's crisps, so we have to have uh, Walker's. And also, a previously slightly melted in my pocket, but not anymore, Toffee Crisp. I think that's a lot, actually. Yep, that's your lot, buddy. Now, you might like the cheese and onion there, Firecracker, but I don't think Gold Bears is really for you. They're like rubbery shits. There go. Let's try the Atari Grand Prix and uh, we'll reduce the lapse just to see if the graphics change. <clears throat> Assuming it works with this thing. Block here is a bloody Vic 20 game. But anyway, very Christmassy. <laughs> like, the, the cars are like Lego. This is Lego Formula 1. They, they could have done a deal with Lego, actually. Atari sort. Because we've got a time cheat on here, I get to actually play it like that. Instead of watching that rubbish film, I'm not watching that one. It's like a kid's film, However, I might consider watching the never ending story. Really, it depends how much of it is location based filming and how much of it is bloody uh, studio like film set. Slight delay to when you are so. Now this is the NTSC well. We've got this thing set in uh, NTSC mode. Uh, and we're running like whatever version this is from uh ah, come on mate. Imagine trying to play this with uh, one of them VCS joysticks. Terrible! It's a bit of a wobbly game, I have to say. It's not a great game at all. Technically, the graphics are pretty shit. This, this is kind of like my first machine code game. They're, apart from the rasters, which you need machine code for, there's no sprite multiplayer or anything like that. Ah, of course, no one's bothered to update this for the C64. Nah! Started on that. I hope you all enjoyed the uh, Vulcan Venture uh, Commodore 64 sneak preview there. <laughs> this shows what absolute bollocks all this uh, modern homebrew is. Yeah, we've done this for the C64, but you need this really weird piece of hardware that costs a fortune to play out on the real C64. Fuck off. If you can't do it for the C64, then go and do it for another computer. I fucking waste my time. My, I don't like Sonic anyway. Sonic, Sonic 1 is not a very good game. It's alright. But I'd much rather be playing uh, Castle of Illusion on the Mega Drive than Sonic 1. Much rather. It's a much better game in every way. Bloody lap here. Because I only 
reset it for one lap and you can't reset the game. Mm. Perhaps having the cheats on was not a good idea, but yeah, graphically this game desperately needs an update. It needed an update in 1983 or 84 when it came out. I don't know if Atari Soft did this sort of thing on purpose or they really were that crap at programming uh, this, you know, the home computers. Now nah, man, this isn't fun anymore. I uh, hope we've got pole position 2 on there, and we haven't. Nah. Uh, here's an interesting one, and I had to check this, because um, I had to find the instructions, which is never an easy thing, especially seeing as the, the Bomb Jack website was like non-existent when I looked a few days ago. It's like, uh, you know, I cannot connect to the website. I don't like crack throws. Please go away. Now, on the Amstrad version, uh, the same Ben Dalglish uh, music, I, I don't know if he did it. Uh, it keeps playing while you're playing the game, but on the C64 version, you only hear the music on the title screen. I have to change these with a joystick. Right, okay, it's a typical thing then, cursor keys. Infinite fire, I don't know what that means, speed up game, no, I don't want to do that. You know what, I don't want any cheats on. It's a Christmas miracle. Really, this is really nice music on uh, C64. I've never heard it before, because I've never had this one. Now, of course, it sounds real better on a real C64, but anyway. Oh no, because <laughs> we got it set in uh, NTSC mode. X, Y, O, R, C. How weird. I wonder why it does that. Anyway, you have to exit the game anyway, so it makes no difference. There we go, there we go, and you're still there. So, uh, zoom, zoom with the old loading. Now, I haven't actually tried this on the C64, but I can't see any reason why it won't work, so. Well, music plays at the same speed. Yes, that is what the program was uh, crashing for. I can actually zoom up the screen a bit now. See, why can't I have the music on? Now, I downloaded the instructions and there is no key for, like, music in-game on-off. It's really dumb. You get Ben Dalglish to do, like, a really nice tune. And then, you know, you have just sound effects in the game. You don't even give people the option. Seems really dumb. So I really don't want anyone to play the game. So if you don't press fire, does the music carry on? Maybe you could try it as an avoider map. Who knows, sir? I 
Okay, we do that then. Well, you can't play it as up right, bollocks. Bollocks, mate. I can't do a video of me listening to the music. Well, actually, I could, but uh, you know, I would watch it anyway. Then. What's the point? Uh, you know, just wasting battery time on the camera. Stop. Hello, buddy. What's your matter? Yeah, come on. I thought you were to be in here. Adams, he uh, attacked the uh, stinks for no reason actually. Well, that's a bit weird. Go away with your rubbish music, mate. Rubbish. <laughs> Tapping music, the NES owners would be jealous of. text and then perhaps it doesn't work I did try it with, in Vice with the uh, true drive emulation turned off so oh, that's great I saw a video on this and it was actually called I play 3d tennis so of course I went on the uh, game base 64 looking for a game called 3d tennis and it's actually called I Play 3D Tennis. That's what the game is called, so this ain't gonna work. We've got cats up the yin yang. Uh, I think I can uh, see all the uh, feline buttocks. So, uh, where's the thing to uh, turn the walk business on and off? There go, let's try that again. It's not gonna work though. Whether you have that on or off really makes a difference. It's more like CCS 64's built in, uh, uh, you know, disc uh, speed uh, warping when the, there's any disc activity. I quite like the music actually. Nah, it's not going to work, is it? What a load of crap. Again, you know, the modern, the modern C64 scene is ruining my happiness. So I've decided from now on, I'm not interested in what people are doing on it now. The C64 was a thing, but the C64 is dead now. So, that's as far as it's going to go, really. Now, although it does look a little bit like the uh, fast loader on the, you know, Elite, you know, the actual game by Firebird. I don't think this is actually working. It's an annoying thing because uh, I can't tell if it's working or not. So I guess we're not playing this one then. Well done. And uh, yeah, I think Game Base can take a slap to the face for that as well. Another bunch of cocksuckers. There's probably a thousand games still in T64 format. What the fuck are you doing on that website, mate? Exactly, that my cats are upset with him. Anyway, so. well, there's no web box, so if, if that's what you want, mate, let's see what else is on here. No, I'm not playing Sky Fox. What the hell is Mega Nova? Na 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 da da Uraka Uraka I keep pressing the wrong button Stop it, come on I guess uh, Chalky Egg 1 would work But is there any more? Yeah there is more World Series Baseball Scarabaeus 2 Sky Shark. Yeah, anyway, what's in the new thing? Right, that's where we were. Alright, 
Alright, firecracker. What's going on, buddy? Can't really see anything new that I've added here. Well, I might actually play Jet Boot Jack, but uh, that's a private party, mate. Hmm. Let's start between Kingdom Valley and Castle of Terror. Micro soccer. It's been so long since I've uh, used Old Faithful. I don't know what the directories mean anymore. That's a weird thing. I think it's, uh, this is a craptastic game compilation. So these are all 4K games, not 256K, only 4K stuff. So I played this and I didn't know it was 4K, so this is really good. It's a lot better than the Parker Brothers version. It's really nice actually. <laughs> so I guess sometimes, you know, extra memory doesn't really help. You're not going to be getting this on the Big 20. Even though you have 5K on the Big 20. Although that does include screen memory, so technically you don't. One too many! Ah oh, no, come on man. Yeah, that's actually quite good. Yeah, let's see, I'm going to have to uh, exit the game and then down here again and here and now. Yeah, I wouldn't mind listening to the music from um, Zynaps actually, but not on this thing. Yeah. Oh, I did change Mr. Do's castle here for uh, Joystick Book 1. Although in reality, if you are going to be gaming on this thing, really, you know, if you if you ended up with a you know another joystick for it from maybe the mini whatever, I just have them constantly plugged in, and that's why there's three USB ports on the side because they just know that they've done a shit job of the uh, joystick port fiasco. And actually, if you updated your um, thing, so you could do the joystick port one two swapping business, it won't run. It might still run it, but I haven't seen any way to run Sonic the Hedgehog on it. Not that I'd want to, because that's a piece of shit. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe it's the Sid music driving them up the wall. I'm sure we worked something out. Yeah, no, no, it's not in level return. Uh, yeah, we do the Commodore level skip. That's a standard thing. See, it works now. 
How did you move the ladders around? You should be able to move the... I'm sure you can swing the ladders. Okay, I don't know what you've got to do now. I thought that was the whole point of the game, swinging the ladders and... Okay, so that's a bit weird. Well, obviously there's a key there and another one there. I've just noticed. Very difficult to tell with these graphics. Very difficult. Using the same shit screen mode as uh, Sonic on the C64, apparently. So I guess that's how you get the key. You just use a hammer. This game is now. Well, he just did do it. That's it. There. Oh, that's how you do it, is it? Let's see, as soon as you go on that bit, he turns around, little shit. However, we can change the uh, level, so that's not really a problem. Very jolly game. Oh, it looks the same, right? I had enough of that. I had enough of recording and the battery don't like it anymore.